So we're in Blender. I got a pretty basic Amazon styled product render setup here that you maybe even seen before. It looks like this if I render it. I am using the color management and view transform uh, filmic and the look of high contrast pretty basic and default setup i'd say that probably most of you use so there's going to be one issue you will encounter and that's creating a white background so i'm going to render this real quick to show you what the issue is so now the render is finished it has a transparent background we're going to hop into the compositor and we're going to use a alpha over node plug it into the bottom and now you should have a white backdrop if you actually turn on the compositor. So now it's still not working, so we're gonna replug this in. And now finally, there it is. We got a white background. I'm gonna save it to the desktop. And here we have an email. And now if I drag and drop it in, the classic issue, the background is far from white. So one thing you could do is head over to the compositor, go to the color and type in the amount of money I have on my bank account. So it's just a little number and just press enter. Um, and now you're gonna have a white background, yes, but you're gonna destroy the anti-aliasing. You could find the sweet spot, but I really don't recommend doing that. So what we're gonna do is put this back to the amount of money that is on your bank account. So that's one, so enter. And uh, now we're gonna actually go to the standard view transform. And yes, this will destroy everything. So if we go back to my rendering um, here, you'll see it's completely broken. So what we're gonna do is correct this in a filmic style. So this is not filmic, but it pretty much looks exactly like filmic. So we're gonna use a curve node, plug it right in between there. We're gonna create a middle one. We're gonna put it x.5 so it's in the center of this field according to x and y we're gonna set uh, 0.46 um, the last dot we're gonna uh, leave on the very right so x1 and the y we're gonna set to 0.61 these numbers are tweakable these are not fixed but i feel like these numbers work best so here you can see again just copy these out and now if we go to our render it should look just fine so now we're gonna save this out. I'm gonna save it next to the other one. Go back to my client email, drag and drop this boy in there. And not only do you have a perfectly white background, you also have the famous filmic look. I'd even say this look looks better than the standard filmic look, but as mentioned, these numbers and the curve are not fixed. You can tweak them, you can add a little bit more co uh, contrast, take out a little bit contrast. It's not filmic, but it looks pretty much just like Filmic and you can actually make white backgrounds. So I noticed this, especially working with a lot of people and Amazon, people somehow never send white backgrounds and always send this Filmic gray. So this is how you not send this Filmic gray. So have fun and see you next time.